What's up everybody, it's Cliff. I have searched all over YouTube to try to find different ways to set up canoes for fishing and I really found not much at all. So I am going to document my entire making an, a canoe into a fishing canoe project. And uh, so in a minute I'll give you a tour of the whole thing, show you some of the stuff I'm working on and I'll just kind of video the pieces as I go. Uh, so maybe it'll help you, if it helps you, great. Hit subscribe, hit like. All right, so this is it. This is the canoe. This is a like probably 25 plus year old Coleman canoe. It's been in my family for at least 20 years that I know of. And uh, yeah, so it's actually not very stable. It's about 15 feet, five inches long, about 37 inches wide at the very width of it. And uh, yeah, it's not very stable. You're technically supposed to put, I think the driver here. So this is like the back of the canoe. That's supposed to be the front of the canoe. It's my facing that way. But I've learned that if I sit here in this seat, it's entirely, uh, it's way more stable if I sit there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of redo the seat. I'm gonna put somewhere here-ish and maybe here-ish. I'm gonna make some rod holders that I can actually remove so that if I have two people fishing, you they're not in the way. Uh, I'm gonna put some sort of shelving storage in the middle. And then at the back, I'm gonna add uh, probably a power pole and some sort of uh, like trolling motor type thing. So the very first thing I feel like I needed to accomplish was get my fishing rods, fishing poles, whatever, off of um, off the floor because they they're really that's the only spot to put them right now. And so when we go out, we have a lot of ponds in our area. Um, so when I take mostly take my son out, we all the rods end up in the floor and you're kicking them, and obviously it's not good for the for your fishing poles. Um, so I got on Amazon. And I found these three rod holders made by c -Sense. I'll try to find them again and leave a link below. Um, I had a $25 Amazon gift card. I think these were 12 a piece. So I got two of them. Um, I had a $25 gift card, got free shipping because of Amazon Prime. Thank you, Amazon. So I paid 92 cents for these out of my own pocket. Um, so that's not bad if you're fishing on a budget. Um, I'm just a tightwad. So, but what I'm gonna do so that I can, I, at first I was gonna put these at both ends of the canoe. So I was gonna put it basically behind both seats at the end. Um, but I fish by myself a lot. And if I, I like to have multiple rods with me. Um, and so for some reason, um, I was by myself and needed more than three poles close to me or four poles close to me. I wanna be able to move these so that if I had two people fishing um, or if I was fishing by myself, I could kind of move them to where I wanted them, where it was convenient for me to have them. So. What I'm going to do is um, I've cut a piece of wood um, that I'm going to mount this to, um, like so. And uh, these came with all the screws you need. Uh, I think it came with like four screws. Um, so they came with the screws you need. And then I had some old sheet metal hanging around. So I made um, kind of this makeshift hook bracket thing. Um, and my idea here is I'm just going to take um, this piece, I'm going to put it behind the wood. And so when I'm all said and done, it's going to look something like this. Not exactly the prettiest thing. Uh, when it comes to the metal um, and the wood, what I'm going to do when I'm done connecting those two together, when I get it exactly right, I'm going to plasti dip the metal and the wood. So I'll connect the, the metal to the wood like this. Um, I got to get my bend a little bit more accurate. Right now it's a little bit too wide. Um, but then I'll plasti dip the whole thing, which is just a rubber coating. Uh, one, it'll protect it from the weather, obviously, and then two, it'll be a little more quiet, so the metal is not clanging against the side of the metal canoe. Um, so it'll be a little bit more quiet that way. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that, put those together. Um, and then the other project's going to add a trolling motor uh, with a removable transom. Um, that way, I can take it. So you know, if I'm if the boat's in the back of the canoe. I don't want to leave the obviously the trolling motor and all the equipment in the back so I can toss it in the truck or something like that. Same thing for these, same idea. Uh, it's also just easier to transport when all this stuff is not already hooked onto the canoe. Um, so pretty much everything I put on here is going to be able to be removed easily. Um, so yeah, here's the project of fishing rod holders, removable fishing rod holders on the canoe. Okay, so with this metal, what I ended up doing, you can see now how I've got the contour just right. 
So what I ended up doing, I made this first bend, uh, just stuck it in the, my vice grip and made that first bend. Um, but I ended up just hanging with this piece flat here. I just hung it over the side of my canoe and then I just, with my hands, just wrapped and pushed and squeezed until I got that perfect contour. So now what's gonna happen, and you'll see in just a minute, it'll basically snap onto the side of the canoe to where it fits extremely tight. Um, so you'll actually have to kind of wedge it and push it down on there, um, but now it's gonna be extremely tight. So it's not gonna bounce, it's not gonna move, especially when I put the plastic dip coating on it. Um, so that's gonna be a really good fit by the time I'm all said and done. So one thing that I've figured out uh, that's not gonna work for this project, these are the bolts that came with the C-Sense uh, pole mount, pole holder thingy. And they're gonna be too long to go in here because of the wood and the way that I'm gonna be mounting these. So I'm gonna have to find some smaller screws. I've got a ton of screws here, so it shouldn't be a problem, but just something for you to look for. Okay, so Plasti Dip. This is black. I believe uh, I got this at Home Depot. It's pretty awesome. There's a lot of brands of it, but this stuff right here is legitimate. All right, so I got the first coat done. It's not quite like spray paint. You have to really do several coats being that it is a rubber coating. So I did first coat, I'll come back and do probably coat number two, three on this side, flip it, and then do three coats on the bottom side. So I've got everything plasti dipped and uh, this adds a nice little rubber grippy coating on it. Um, and so from here, I'm just gonna mount them to the rod holders. And uh, I've already, earlier, I held it just right to make sure it was where I wanted it to be. Um, so now all I gotta do is screw them in. All right, so I got both the rod holders mounted. This is what they look like. Pretty neat, I think. So let's go put them on the canoe. All right, so here's the finished product. That's it. And uh, yeah, I'll slide it on the canoe and show you how they work. Moment of truth. All right, so you just take it like this and slide it on. And there you go. You got your fishing rod holder that is movable. That. So if I'm fishing by myself, this is going to be where my rod holders are going to be so that I'm sitting here facing this way so the rods will be right behind me. And then uh, if somebody's in the front, then I'll just pop one off and give it to them. But uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty solid. Hey, thanks so much for watching. For more of my life's craziness, hit that big fat red subscribe button right now.